alaikum everyone. Right, so welcome back to the Bitcoin update today for our time frame, and we can already see that the uh, resistance that I talked about in yesterday's video uh, is turning out to be quite heavy for Bitcoin at the moment. Told you that this is where you're going to have a little bit of a trouble going on forward, and of course we've got some bearish divergences going on and whatnot. So uh, at the moment you can see that the sell-off has already started yesterday. You pretty much came a little bit lower to that uh, area right there. So this is going to be a massive resistance right now. But today, um, I was expecting this. You, you got 14 more hours to close the candlestick. And if you close green like this, that will be really, really good. I just want to see how much the volume we got. Look at that volume. My goodness. All right. So here's what, we, uh, what we're going to talk about. So if you look at what I said previously, you got the left shoulder head and the right shoulder right here. And not only do you have that, but you have a break of the neckline. You have the break of the inverse head and shoulder and also the break of the volume. And that is super good, super, super, super good. Because when you break the volume and you break the resistance here, that actually means something. That really, really means something. And w since when do I even say that Bitcoin is good like this? But this is really good. It actually really is. When you see that volume, especially a volume spike like this is just amazing. Really, really amazing. So for some reason, there are so many news coming in as well. We have uh, on 24 March, the durable good order models. On 22 March, we have the Fed press conference. And uh, today is 19th of March. And then you have another FOMC economic projection on 22 of March. So it seems like by 22, we either get um, an oversold level that we can buy or you, you know, maybe have a little bit of that negative impact. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. We're going to see. We're going to figure out as we go. So at the moment, for me personally, I want to see Bitcoin coming down on the weekly down to this trend line and retest the trend line only, just to retest the trend line. Now, I don't know if, if it gets very bullish and tries to go higher and higher, that's a very different thing. Um, one more thing is um, removing off the volume once again. I do want to bring in the trend line and this trend line tells me that uh, you're looking for the next technical target out of from the top to the bottom here and you could potentially say that $37,000 is something that we could see <laughs> super that's crazy man thirty seven thousand dollars but for that one first we need a retest and go up now do you know even what's more crazy than thirty seven thousand dollars is that bitcoin is on a technical journey to go to sixty nine thousand dollars got a big falling wedge here you broke out of the falling wedge as long as you're not going to go inside the falling wedge maybe don't go below 17k as long let's just say as long as you're not under seventeen thousand dollars now you can actually come twenty three twenty three thousand and also twenty thousand dollars to retest something and then retest the wedge and maybe go up or retest the neckline of the hidden versed and shoulders and then go up now there are even chances of bitcoin to come down to twenty thousand five hundred dollars you might wonder why and how so i never speak about cme but I'm going to go on and I'm going to actually write uh, CME. Um, I think it's uh, Bitcoin one or something. All right. So here we are. So uh, some people like would like me to talk about the gaps. And here we go. I'm going to talk about the gaps. Now, if you look at the gap, I am going to start off from the daily time frame. And you do have a gap. Number one gap is right over here near the $29,000. So it does seem like Bitcoin is interested to fill the gap, right? So you're probably looking for a push higher than $27,000. Not only that, but you do have another gap right over here. Okay, this is another gap. And that's where the inverse head and shoulder technical target is. But these are good gaps that points that Bitcoin wants to go up. But what about the bad gap that Bitcoin can go down one time? And that gap is actually this right here. Do you see that? That's the gap that is a little bit of a uh, problem to me. You could actually just look at Bitcoin coming down to fill the gap. I don't know. That's that's something that uh, I'm wondering. So because if you do come down to this level, that's going to be where this, uh, you know, falling wedge 
uh, you know, support line is going to be actually if you zoom out of Bitcoin here, that's where the falling wedge is going to be. For example, if I take the trend line now and I place the trend line just like that, and you can already see a breaking out of this uh, falling wedge. So that only means that when you come down to fill the gap like this, you're actually retesting the trend line as well and filling the gap. And then you move to the upside to $69,000 and fill the other rest two of the gaps. Maybe, just maybe, it's a possibility, it's just an idea. I don't know if uh, they're, they're going to look to come down here, time will tell. And that's pretty much it for this update on Bitcoin. I'm gonna see you the next one, hello office.